Yo, Philly254 living life, back at it. So, you got your games and what the Steam Deck is on your games and your Steam Deck or whatnot. And of course, the Steam Deck is good at single player games. Of course, you can play your Spider Man's or whatnot. But you know what? Let's say you want to do some multiplayer gaming. Let's say you own, well, I don't know if Steam Deck really does day by day, day by daylight, but there's plenty of other <laughs> multiplayer gaming on there. You do some multiplayer gaming, you're jumping in the group. Matter of fact, I got Dead Poly pulled up. You can see that. That's a, that's a multiplayer game, single player and multiplayer. Let's say you're in there, right? But guess what? You need Discord. Now, yeah, you can put Discord on your PC or on your phone, but that defeats the purpose of having a Steam Deck right in front of you. So guess what we're going to talk about today? How to get Discord on your Steam Deck. So we're going to keep it simple. Let's jump into it. It's not hard at all. So first things first. Turn on your Steam Deck as always. Of course, we're going to go down here to Power. Switch the desktop. And as always, I always say, get yourself a Bluetooth mouse. Uh, that, that's a little dongle you see up there on my Steam Deck. Get yourself a keyboard, too. I still can't find mine. I don't know where that thing is. It's got to be around here somewhere. But in the meantime, we're just going to use the on-screen keyboard for this. But the Bluetooth mouse is a must. So, especially on desktop mode. So, we're going to go down to the Discover Store down here. Open it up. And we're going to go up in here. Hit the steam button X, of course, to bring up that keyboard. And we're just going to type in. Let's type in the first first few word, letters of it, and it'll pop up. There you go. I'm just use the mouse here, kill that little keyboard. Don't need it anymore. Install. So that's gonna do a thing. Installs pretty quick, or whatnot. You see it on the on the side there, task 99% or whatever. So and then just like that, we're installed. Discord. But we're not done. We're not done. I mean, technically you could be done, but you know, let's let you know, we gotta make it easy, right? Make it easy for us in the future. So hit the little X, close that out. Cause we wanna add Discord to the to the library. So that way we don't have to go into desktop mode, turn on Discord, turn it on and turn it off, whatever. So we're going to open up Steam from right here, from inside the desktop mode. Let it do its thing here. Let it do its thing. Did I click it? I don't know if I clicked it. I'm going to hit A button. Well, I didn't click it. Come on, Steam. Open up. There we go. All right. I was impatient. That's on me. That's on me. So we go to library. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Games. And we're going to go to where it says add non-Steam games to my library. So you're going to click on that. And there goes Discord. Bang. Add it there. You're going to add the selected programs. So now we can go and clean, close Steam here. And then we can go back to gaming mode. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Steam's trying to figure out what it wants to do. All right. We're back in the gaming mode, and there goes Discord. Full disclaimer. I already had Discord installed earlier, and then I uninstalled it for the, for the sake of this demonstration, all right? So I don't know if I'm if it's already going to be logged in. But when you log in, or when you first click on Discord, you're going to have to log in, of course. So just like in the game, you click on it, hit the play button. Let me see if it already has my credentials already logged in and everything. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll log in in like two seconds. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, I'm already logged in. So, yeah, because all I did was uninstall it and reinstall it. But the only step that I, I'm not literally showing is logging into Discord, which, I mean, I don't think I need to show you how to log in. You click the login button, put in your information, no big deal. All right, so I'm going to shoot to, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, Get my get my homeboy, Gray Wolf. He's gonna he's gonna create a little. Well, he's already got a gaming server. I'm gonna jump in there real quick. We can cut to that clip right now. All right, so we've already I've already logged in on Discord. I'm about to jump on the server with my buddy of mine, Gray Wolf. And now I had to I tried this once before. I had to kind of mess with mess with the settings or whatnot. So right now it's coming straight out of the uh, the Steam Deck's internal mic. And speakers, but you can plug in your your own 
headphones or whatnot on the very top. So I'm a 3.5 on the very top. So yo, Gray Wolf, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good morning, Philly too. Yes, sir. Give me a second. So I'm gonna go to that. What's that? Dead Poly game, real quick. You don't have to, you don't have to get on. I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate that. You can still play game. You can still game and everything while. Understood. On the Discord. What's it called? Is it called Dead Poly? I just made that up. Is it called Dead Poly? Yes, sir. It's Dead Poly. Yeah. Hey, we gonna play today? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not your boss. I'm in the middle of a, a report right now. Oh, then we're not gonna play today. We're gonna play after work hours like responsible adults do exactly exactly so anyway as it as y'all can see i'm already in the game if i really wanted to i can go in there and play a new game or some crap i don't know and jump in there if you ain't played dead poly zombie survival it's, it's pretty fun it's pretty fun but as you can see you can get jump in there and do your thing and gray wolf can you hear me yes sir as you can tell if we wanted to, if we were playing multiplayer, we, we could be gaming right now. So, FYI. Anyway, I'm going to jump out of this real quick and then jump back and jump back into the regular cut. Enjoy your day, buddy. Yep. Thanks, man. No problem. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, not hard at all. Quick, simple, and dirty. Just real quick, real simple, real dirty. Just the way I like it, right? So, if you need to game, you need to talk to your buddies. You got to get in that chat to organize your game activities. Maybe you just want to just chat while you single player gaming, but you just want to jump in a little Discord server and just talk, right? Whatever. That's how you do it. And you put it on the home screen or your gaming library. That way you don't have to worry about going to um, the actual desktop mode every time you want to do it, do anything. And for future reference, that's how you want to add anything non-gaming. Uh, technically, it looks like you added the Discover Store to the desktop mode if you really wanted to, right? I just haven't done it yet. But... As always, like and subscribe. Do you due diligence? Screw, cruise around the playlist. Share, share everything you see. Watch everything you see. You might like it. Let anyone know. And I will catch you on the flip side. We out.